Wonderful family. Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sorry, I, I was interrupted there by a couple of uh, passers-by. Praise God. Uh, today, I just want to continue uh, or just add a little bit to what we had discussed yesterday about um, trusting God as our Father. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah, sorry. I craft um, kind of added some in ambient sounds. Yeah, back to what I was saying. Trusting God as our Father. Now, I, I want to ask a pertinent question. This happens to me but I, I, I don't know whether it happens to you. Do you know that I, it, when I miss it before God, I do not, uh, I never have this impression when I go to God based on his word now to tell him, Lord, I'm sorry, please forgive me for having uh, messed up. After I, after I have made that um, apology to him and asked for his forgiveness, I never live there with a conscious effort to try and believe that he heard me and forgave me. I just know based on his word that he heard me and that I'm forgiven. So I live there with absolute knowledge and confidence, absolute guarantees in my heart that I am forgiven. That there's no reservation on the inside of me. So I I, I, and based on that, I act accordingly. I act as the forgiving one. If I went there with a heavy heart, I live there very light, knowing that it is done. It is done. Now, do you know that that is actually the same way God expects us to have, uh, that is based on his word, if we come to him concerning anything else that we ask him to do. The same confidence that we have with respect to him forgiving us of sins it's the same confidence he expects us to have when we come to ask him for any other thing based on his word he said we should ask and we will receive and that we should believe that when, when, we, when we pray we should believe that we have received believe we have received not we will receive believe we have received and we will have it now he expects us at the instant we've prayed to leave that particular place with the full assurance and guarantee in our hearts that that which we've asked him for he has heard and he has answered remember first john 5 4, 14 and 15 says this is the confidence that we have in him if we ask anything according to his will he, he hears us and if we know that he hears us we know that we have granted to us as our present possession the things that we've asked of him now Remember when I said I do not have any, I do not make any conscious effort to try and believe before God. I just believe it with respect to asking for forgiveness. Now, when you, let's say you come to ask him to um, help you deal with a problem. Do you know that he does not expect you to try and force, make a conscious effort to try and believe? He just, he expects you to believe him as his, as, uh, uh, as your father. The same way like how that uh, young boy, that little boy, the, 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 the son of my friend, uh, did not make a conscious effort to try and believe his father when his father says he should go ahead, that he would, uh, before that stipulated time, he would have put the money in his account for him to avail himself of the service or pay for the service that he would have availed himself of. The boy just left and, and went. And that's the same way I, I leave and go once I, I, I ask my father for forgiveness i don't try i don't try to put myself in a position where i think I, I, I am pressing myself down trying to believe no the same way that boy did not try to believe he just believed took it took what his father said as gospel and acted on it as if what he said was true that's how he expects you to go ahead and act on every word of his as if it is true and you get to doing that by having relationship 
the more you know about your father the more you can trust him if you don't know about him it's going to be difficult to trust him if you know about him if you know about him only in certain areas you will trust him very much in those areas but if you don't know about him in certain other areas it will be difficult for you to trust him even if you've heard that he said this so the the the, the bottom line here that i'm saying is that you should be one based on his word who listens to what he says and acts on it as if what he has said is true irrespective of what it is if you he said ask says for every ask and you will receive or rather ask and it will be given unto you that for everyone that ask it receive it what does that mean everyone unless jesus lied i choose to be one of those who take jesus literally when he said that if he did not lie then i should have based on what he said and the, but the bottom line is i should ask so ask i will ask and expect to receive god bless you hallelujah